If I told you there was a Batman themed restaurant in London, what would come to mind? Perhaps you'd think of Super Babes from the Batman and Harley Quinn movie, or potentially Planet Krypton from Kingdom Come. However, this is no mere sleazy diner or burger bar, no. Park Row, named after the area of Gotham City in which Bruce Wayne's parents were killed, which is a bit morbid I'll admit, is a gastronomic delight, delivering fine foods created with fire and ice served with a theatrical flair. Located a short walk from both Leicester Square and Piccadilly Circus, upon entering the restaurant you would be forgiven for thinking you'd come to the wrong place. The lobby resembles a lavish front room, complete with family portraits and well-read books. It's only when you take a closer look that you see framed Gotham City newspapers and a grandfather clock perpetually set to 9.48. It's at this point that one of the bookcases will slide open, revealing a secret pathway down a large spiral staircase, with Hans Zimmer's Dark Knight theme blaring out of some speakers. A pulsating light down the centre of the staircase provides enough illumination to make out a large penny and a Joker playing card on your way down. Once you've descended two floors, a neon lit doorway guides you to the main restaurant. It's here that the real Park Row experience begins. The venue itself is a glorious art deco space two stories underground and features a bandstand where they often have live music. Large open spaces like this are exceptionally rare in central London. One of my favourite things about this restaurant is the sheer number of hidden easter eggs. They're just subtle enough that, unless you're a die-hard Batman fan, you probably won't even pick up on most of them. The first such easter egg is a gigantic golden map of Gotham City created by artist Ewan Eason. It stands well over six feet tall and is so incredibly detailed you can see famous locations like Wayne Manor and Arkham Asylum if you know where to look. Just past the entrance is the bar. Pennyworths, named after Batman's faithful butler Alfred. This is a relaxed seating area for people that just want to get a drink and chill out. At the centre of the restaurant is the Iceberg Lounge, with a statue of a penguin billowing artificial smoke. There's ample space for diners here with a number of tables, booths and bar seating. While they don't have much in the way of on-tap beers or ales, they more than make up for it with their expansive cocktails, wines and spirits. The next area, the Rogues Gallery, is primarily used for dining and is presented as if it were an art gallery filled with famous stolen paintings that have been vandalised by some of Batman's villains. Think back to that scene from Tim Burton's Batman, where the Joker and his goons vandalise the museum, and you'll have a good idea what to expect. Each painting has a small plaque beneath with a fiendish clue to the identity of the vandal. Most of them were pretty obvious to me just by looking at them. Catwoman, the Joker, Two-Face, the Riddler, and so on. But one had me stumped, and so I gave in and looked at the plaque. Apparently, this painting was vandalised by the Penguin. Each of these paintings are available to buy, but these are high-priced pieces of artwork, not inexpensive prints. To the rear, there are two separate areas. One, a private bar themed after Poison Ivy, complete with hanging plants, neon signs, and sapphic portraits. The other area, Amusement Mile, is a lounge featuring floor-to-ceiling screens and is available for private functions. Finally, there are the toilets. These bathrooms are a delight, with purple and red tiles respectively, and a variety of neon signs. This has really given me some interesting ideas for a future bathroom when we eventually move house. I've spent a long time talking about the decor and the atmosphere, but really the most important thing is the food. My wife and I celebrated our recent wedding anniversary here, and it just happened to coincide with the launch of their new menu. So for the starters, we tried their succulent Kandaki fried chicken, two chicken thighs with coleslaw, a mushroom parfait batarang with apple and onion ketchup, and tacos from Taco Wiz, a deep cut reference to a taco chain seen in the Wonder Woman comics. For our main meal, we tried the tomahawk steak served with onion rings. We also ordered sides of creamy mashed potatoes and truffle mac and cheese. For dessert, I ordered the ruins of Gotham City, inspired in part by the seminal Batman story, No Man's Land, where much of Gotham is destroyed by an earthquake. This vanilla and apple cheesecake comes with white chocolate rubble and a cider sorbet. My wife opted for the freshly made ice cream, which was whipped up in front of us with liquid nitrogen and served in an elegant mannequin hand. As a neat final touch, the staff presented us with a small chocolate tart, wishing us a happy anniversary. And it's these nice little touches that keep me coming back to Park Row. 
Since they opened in August of 2021, I think I've been there over a dozen times and celebrated birthdays, anniversaries and even Christmas there. Each time the service has been exceptional. One final thing I wanted to talk about that will be interest to Batman fans is their Batman themed drinks. They have beers, wines, champagne and even an extremely limited edition whiskey. First we have the Cool Brow beers, one a light IPA and the other a dark lager. I don't drink beer, I'm actually more of a cider person, but my friends that do drink beer said that they were solid drinks. The brand is from DC Comics and is featured as an easter egg in the recently released Gotham Knights video game and I couldn't resist taking a picture of a billboard in the game with my drinks. Next we have the excellently named wines Dance with the Devil and Pale Moonlight. This is an overt reference to Jack Nicholson's Joker who asked all his prey you ever dance with the devil in the pale moonlight? I'm not much of a wine person but I really love the label on these bottles. Next we have the Iceberg Lounge Champagne Obviously, this is a reference to The Penguin and his nightclub, The Iceberg Lounge. Again, I'm not much of a champagne person, but I really like this drink. It's a brew champagne, but it has a very light, delicate flavour and isn't bitter at all, as some champagnes can be. Finally, we have the jewel in their crown, the Inish Tree Whiskey. Only 148 bottles were produced, and I own bottle number 110. It's so rare that I will probably never open it. In fact, my wife insists that this bottle of whiskey is an investment that we're going to look after and one day sell. Of course, the problem I have with this plan is that I really hate selling my stuff, even if it ends up being worth loads of money. Maybe I'll see if I can get a second bottle before they sell out, if they haven't already. Now, that's the end of my video about Park Row. It really is my favorite restaurant in London, and I will continue to go there for as long as it remains open. Now, if only I could talk to someone about getting some Batman the Animated Series music added to their playlist.